assisting, quote, U.S.-based nuclear experts to provide integral assistance in developing and producing special nuclear material in China. He did so without registering with the DOJ as an agent of a foreign nation or authorization from the U.S. Department of Energy. That, what's that mean? Let me cut right to the chase. I'll make it real easy for you. They didn't say where they were from, which means they could be wanting to take our nuclear secrets for reasons that could be anything from skirting power production laws to nuclear bombs. Space exploration, I guess, would be another. But I highly doubt that that's what was sending up red flags with the DOJ. But those sorts of things are why. This is bad. And they use such gobbledygook language to deflect from it. Theft of our nuclear technology by foreign advisors is of paramount concern to the FBI. I would hope so. Along with our local, state, and federal partners, we will aggressively investigate those who seek to steal our technology or the benefit of foreign governments. For the benefit. Said FBI Special Agent Renee McDermott at the time. As we noted Monday, the U.S. government, it says, is analyzing a reportedly a China's Tishan nuclear plant after the French company that co-owns it warned of the eminent... Okay, never mind, there's that tweet. Let's start it out with that. AFP news agency right there, friends. The gas was released after the coating on some fuel rods had deteriorated. A repeating problem that in all this time, science has not been able to fix. It happens... The coating on that's been a problem. I think it was a problem at Windscale, Three Mile, a lot of the places I already mentioned. And here we are, 2021, still having the same problem. That spokesman who said that asked not to be named. According to Bloomberg, another source, the French firm was has called for an extraordinary board meeting with the majority owner China General Nuke Power Corp to discuss the increased concentration of inert gases at the Unit 1 reactor in Zhongdong. And of course, just when you thought it could not get any worse, of course it can. It's the dum-dee, the dum-dee, dum-dee, dum-dee of the day. Now, before we do it, one more time, let me remind you, the correct views at Hotmail.com, you can donate through PayPal. Even more important than that, the You Are an Idiot song. I'll let it play. Even more important than that, well, I'll try to let it play, is that you hit share. All right, I'm not going to let it play. I can't get a good volume. That you hit share, you hit subscribe. Make sure this gets out to people. That's a massive help. All right, guys. Uh, dumb deal of the day. PowerTechnology.com. I don't think there have been. I think a couple of these have not been on the show before. But again, there's only two a month right now. Uh, something in the Wulta. Controversy courts the Fukushima cleanup. How many times has this gotten the dumb deal of the day? Well, don't blame me. Because they continue to go on with it. And it's uh, until we stop it, keep drawing attention to it. They, the, the most of this has been halted by people like me and hundreds and hopefully, you know, maybe even thousands of people like me standing up and saying, no, 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 no. The fishermen are certainly there begging us not to. They know what it's going to do, not just to them, but to the world when they sell their food, which they should not be allowed to. Not if it's caught there. In the decades since the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant disaster devastated the region, Local fisheries have worked hard to win back consumer trust in their catch. Wonder why? Because it's glowing! As a confidence building measure, oh yeah, all docked fish are routinely screened for radioactive cesium, but not necessarily plutonium, americum, uranium, tritium, no, you know, cesium. That's because it's, if you test for one, oh, it's clean, you can, you can, you can claim that you didn't know any better. And they must meet standards more stringent than those in the EU before they can be sold to market. And those rates have still been changed, particularly in the U.S. Obama allowed the uh, amount of poison to be, uh, nuclear poison in our food to go up after Fukushima in order not to uh, hurt the economy. Never mind that it poisons.
people for life because of what he did. Follow the science. Follow the science. The science knew that that was a mouthful idea. The standards were set where they were based on the sound of science. It goes on to say here that it was perhaps unsurprising then that when the Japanese government announced in April that it will release around 1.25 million tons of water, which they've done before, and we're going to want to do after this if it's allowed to happen, they want to release it from the plant into the sea. Those fishermen felt devastated once again, as they should have. Water has been steadily accumulating at the plant, filling up large tanks uh, for the last 10 years. And TEPCO said that the plan operator, they say that the strategy cannot be sustained. So in order, because they can't deal with it, the best thing to do is to simply dump all of the water that's been sitting there into the ocean to poison everyone. That, that, that's, that's, that's their grand, grand solution. Why is there so much water? Well, God, this site is annoying as hell. Water is an important part of the nuclear plant because they use the water to keep, they're going to give you a horrible explanation. They're using the water to prevent further fissioning happening and creating a worse nuclear situation than they've already had. But that water, after it passes through the core and other poisonous areas in the plant, retain that toxicity and then is stored, and it's been stored poorly. Uh, some of them were built badly. The containers, they had rubber using as a seal, and of course that began to leak. When a core meltdown happens, radioactivity, primarily cesium-137 and strontium, that's bone cancer, lymphatic cancer, and again, we've covered the other elements, but that's what those two like to do, and heart trouble, is released from the broken fuel pins into the cooling water, contaminating. After this happened at Fukushima, a few cubic meters of water per hour were routinely added to the site to maintain the cold. Furthermore, to stop any water from leaking out of the facility and into the sea, groundwater levels in the building were kept lower than outside, meaning the site is always gaining water. Hence why qualities increase by 140 tons a day. That's why you don't fill nuclear power plants, as we've been correctly saying. An advanced liquid processing system is used to remove cesium and strontium, but cannot take out tritium. France is, France is the one who made that, by the way, that removal system. It's the best they can do. How safe is the water? This, this is gold. I personally think that releasing the water is the right thing to do. That's why I like how China said, good, drink some. Says Lake Barrett, an independent consultant who has worked in the nuclear industry for five decades, including the Three Mile Island nuclear facility in the U.S. How does that make you feel any better? Like, uh, again, Dr. Caldecott said, don't ever eat Hershey's. Because Hershey's never moved, and the radioactivity that's going into the cows, which are producing the chocolate for the milk, is deadly. And even if it's not made from the same milk, that milk that whatever milk is used in the plant absorbs that nuclear that nuclear poisons and that was that was allowed to happen Hershey never had to move oh it's safe who knows how many cancers we've seen <clears throat> that can you know how would you prove it that have been linked to that awful disease so it doesn't make me feel any better but that's why it's the dumb day of the day Barrett is also the former head of the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Civilian Nuclear Waste Management, makes me feel even worse, and serves as a special advisor to the Japanese government and TEPCO's president and board of directors. Wonderful. He certainly can be trusted. He's got no skin in this game at all. There is emotion because the Wuta came from the Fukushima accident as opposed to a normal operations. But don't confuse emotion with technical reality. From a science, health, and environmental protection viewpoint, the radiation numbers and risks are very small. Very small. They've not been able to catch one tuna out of the Pacific Ocean since the disaster happened and hasn't shown signs of Fukushima radiation. And they want to put more of it into the water. 
During normal operations, Fukushima used to release tritium into the ocean, and it was never a big issue. It shouldn't that one sentence just right there be enough that you wouldn't ever want to build another nuclear power plant and that you would want to shut down the ones that you have? How can I live in such a stupid time period? Friends, go on and uh, look. You can read the rest of this. It talks about winning back the trust. They're not winning back the trust. They're lying to you in order to get you. Friends, you're listening to the correct views. I am Sam DeGangi. I'm signing off here. Uh, do me a favor, if you could, please remember to share this to other people. And if you've enjoyed it and you've watched it, let me know. I'm only doing two shows a month right now. That's been that way for quite some time. But, I mean, if, if no one's going to see them, then I'm going to have to evaluate whether or not to put the whole thing on hold. Because I am being shadow, and not just me, but a lot of us are being shadow banned, hidden, silenced. People are saying that they watched it and commented, and their comment didn't show, and uh, they're, they looked on a computer from another friend's account, and their view didn't even count, not even three or four days into it. So there's a definite attack on silencing on us who are telling the truth. So those of us who are doing that need you to.